it guys I uh, just wanted to give you all a um, a garden update show you all what what we have growing and what we're harvesting and and that kind of good stuff so you can see down here we have uh, quite a bit of broccoli that the kids have been eating so you can see here they picked off the main the main head but it's sprouting new heads over here's a good one that hasn't been picked I'm actually surprised that it did this well because the pigs got out one day and got into the broccoli and ate most of it but anyway it came back it came back pretty good uh, right here we have some cabbages that were planted too late but we'll see we'll see how they do here's some onions so these will be for next spring this is kind of a trial never planted onions in the fall but I just planted seeds in these trays and I'm thinking about transplanting but I'm not sure I may just leave them in the trays until next spring here we've got some Brussels sprouts so this is my first time planting Brussels sprouts you can see or I hope you can see right there Maybe you can't see. Anyway, there's the beginnings of a of the fruit from a Brussels sprout or the actual sprout. Here are uh, broad beans that I don't think it's going to make it. I I thought they were were hardy and were frost resistant, but I don't think they are. We uh, we had our first frost last night, and they look pretty wilted. Anyway. It's always a trial and error kind of thing. Here is a row of collards, which are massive. Like some of them are almost two feet tall, between two and three feet tall. You see that leaf? I mean, look at that, it's massive. Those are gonna be good. Man, look at this thing. Oh my goodness, look at that collard. That thing is huge. Anyway, I'm excited about those. I just harvested all of our beets. I had two and a half rows of beets here that we harvested. Does Sydney have it now? Yes, but I don't eat. Oh, well, let's find another one. No, that one. Yeah. Well, guess what? What? He likes to live outside anyway, okay? There's plenty of lizards. I want that one. I bet if you look around the compost over there, you'll probably find another one. No. I see them all the time over there. I want one. Look around the compost over there, see if you see one. No, I want my other one. I'm sorry, buddy. Here is a row of romaine lettuce, which has been awesome. We've been eating, eating salads almost every day. It is so good. I usually just go in, instead of cutting the whole plant down, I'll just go in and pick the outer leaves off, just like that. What else? What else do we have? Uh, Swiss chard. Dig 
get down here to where it is. So here's a little bit of Swiss chard, which is pretty buggy, but still tasty. Let's see, what else? What else do we have? Oh, this is my favorite part. Let me show you guys this. So for the past three years, we have not tilled the soil at all, like none. And I have also been piling up leaves. This is not even the best spot. Let me go over here. Been piling up leaves and uh, putting the chickens into the garden. Here's some carrots that got taken over by weeds. But they're still good. I pulled some this morning for a soup. Anyway, look at the soil down here. So much Bermuda grass, it's gonna be hard. Look at that. I'm super excited about that. Here's a plantain. Anyway, that's what happens when you don't till the soil. You just uh, add mulch every year. Put the chickens on it. Like this. So we have uh, netting from Premier One and a solar charger from Premier One. I'll just put the chickens in, in the garden that we in the part of the garden that we're not using. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Here's a cabbage. That might actually do something. Some late tomatoes. Those are gonna be tasty. Oh man, my cucumber bit the dust last night. I had a late cucumber that I've eaten a couple off of, but couldn't handle the frost. All right, what else we got? There's a rosemary, basil, huge basil plant, plus like 50,000 seeds. So if anyone needs basil next year, we'll have plenty of it. Here's a, a, an old garden spot that I'm turning into an apple orchard where I typically plant cover crops every winter. But this year I decided to plant mustard greens, kale, what else? Those were turnips, but they got up to like 95 degrees after I planted them and they all did not survive. Dinosaur kale, mustard greens, which are awesome. What else? Here's another patch of turnips that are too thick, but anyway, I tried to go in here and thin them out a little bit. Those are late, late planted turnips. And here's kale. All oh, that is kale, kind of a cover crop slash dinner. There's some turnips that made it. That's awesome. Our kids love turnips. <laughs> 